Hey guys, what's going on? So, I'm just going to let you guys know, this is not going to be a positive video. And, if you don't want to watch it, then please don't. Don't bother yourself with watching this. This video is in no way to make my audience feel sorry for me, or anybody else. But only to, hopefully, educate those about people that have been abused in their life. This video is going to be a doozy. This, at the end of this year, there was somebody that, well, I was literally looking into a mirror, except this person was a female version of myself. She had a really rough childhood. She was abused, unloved by her mother and her stepfather and even her father. These people are literally the low of the low of society. They have no business having children, let alone taking care of, well, anybody's children for this matter. Her mother was addicted to drugs, and well, let's just say her stepfather was addicted to the company of younger women, including herself. You guys, when I saw this story, I quite literally got hit by a Mack truck going 75 miles an hour. Because everything that was going on in this person's life, well, I could relate with because it all happened to me. See. I had a situation growing up around this child's age even. In fact, I would even go as far as saying we were the same age when this was going on with me. I had a mother who would say, oh, well, at least he's there for you. Or you're an ungrateful son. You don't deserve what you've got now. Now, mind you, as a kid growing up, I didn't really cause trouble. I didn't really cause drama. In fact, I just didn't start anything with anybody because I didn't want the trouble to fall my way. And this is the kind of experiences that I had growing up. So when I saw this girl's videos posted online, it literally just sent shivers down my spine because everything this person was going through, I went through as a kid. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm trying to raise awareness or I'm trying to help others but what I will tell you is this raising awareness isn't enough people need to be more proactive of trying to help other people that's just plain and simple we can raise awareness all day but how many of those people that you're raising the awareness to actually give a rat's ass enough to be active against what they're being aware of and that is the problem in today's society we could care less about anybody else's issues because we're so wrapped up in our own. We don't want to help other people, but at the same time, we don't shy from helping ourselves. And to a degree, I agree with this mindset, and then to another, I don't. And unfortunately, there's just too much of the situation where not only are we wrapped up in our own problems, but we make sure that we only focus on that and nothing else pretty much leaving astray anybody else that's having an outreach cry for help. And, well, that's what happened to this girl. You know, 12 years old, living out of Georgia, having a mother that she had and having a stepfather that she had. This little girl was pretty much set up to be failed on every aspect of life that she would pursue. Not because of her own knowledge wrongdoings or her own lack of ambition but more often than not it was because the family that was dragging her down and abusing her and putting her into the dirt because they felt she was stupid or because they continuously cut her down because they thought that she was a worthless piece of shit I know what this is like I've been down this road before the only difference between me and her in this entire situation was I didn't fully kill myself. That's right. When I was her age, I tried to do the same thing. The difference? I had a 45 millimeter barrel in my jaw, ready to go. And I didn't do it because there's too many people that I cared about and there were too many people that I wanted to grow up with and spend the rest of my life my friendship with them. I wanted to see more of this world. And I, you know, being an artist, I didn't, I didn't see anything else but the hatred that I was getting from home. 
I didn't see anything past being bullied. I didn't see anything past the abuse of at-home life. Because that's all I was shown. And you would think that the stuff that I went through, or the stuff that this little girl went through, we'd become psychopaths of some sorts. We wouldn't have problems taking life. We wouldn't have issues taking justice into our own hands. And you know what? At some points, I've thought about it. I've thought about taking the law into my own hands and doing the work that, well, the caseworker overlooked or the police officer was lied to and tricked and he so easily believed. Or better yet, whenever the foster care system fails and puts these children into this exact situation that they're ripped from. In fact, if you ask me, these laws are backwards. We should be allowed to take the law into our own hands in some cases, especially when the signs of child abuse are so, so obvious. We see these things happen all the time, and it's and it's bad. It's really, really bad. And to be quite honest with you, these parents that do this to this day shouldn't have kids. They shouldn't even be allowed to have children. They shouldn't even be allowed to be around children. And yet they are. There are parents that you wouldn't believe to this day that do this. And after seeing this girl's story, I couldn't believe it. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, we're 2016. We're in what should be, I don't know, some of the fastest growing societies of the modern era. Not just technology, but the way we interact with each other. So many things should be just better, you know? And this little girl was going through the same thing that I was going through in the early 90s. And I, and I couldn't believe it. I just I saw this and it, and it broke my heart. I'm not going to lie. I got pretty emotional. I was upset. I cried. I, I shed some tears, man. Like, this really messed with me. And the things this girl went through, bullying wasn't even the main thing what caused this girl to kill herself. A lot of people were going to try saying that this should be an anti-bullying campaign. Trust me, the bullying isn't what she was going to kill herself over. It was being loved or lack of being loved by the people that mattered in her life. And that was her mother and her stepfather. There's actual pictures of these people on Facebook and... They looked happy at one point, but I don't know what went south. What what happened? What took a turn for the worst to make this girl an easy target, right? This is something that I've always been against. And we can always sit there and say there's worse things going on out in the world today. We could sit there and say there's pedophiles. We can say that there's drug addicts selling children in the slave trade. We can go as far as even saying that the Middle East are blowing children up because the parents are cowards. And they can't find their own, fight their own fights. But you know what? If we could try our best in this world to make things better in our own backyard, why not start with the children that fall through the cracks? Let's start with the children that nobody hears about until it's too late. This sort of thing is a, it's, it's always been a huge problem. I mean, how many let's make suicide awareness videos do you need to fucking look? beyond your own issues and beyond your own problems in life for you to actually reach out and help somebody. Now, I'm not saying everybody here that watches this video needs to be a Captain save -a or they need to be a child protective guardian or they need to be some sort of, um, you know, uh, what can I say? Uh, big brother, I guess. I mean, I don't know what you'd call them. I'm not saying you have to help everybody in this world, but if you see obvious signs of child abuse, don't just turn a, an eye to it and be like, oh, well, that's not my problem. Because if you do that, then you are inadvertently the problem. I'm not trying to say turn social justice warrior, and I'm not trying to say that every person that looks like an abuser is going to be an abuser, because that is really not the case. I am saying if you see a child in broad daylight being abused... Okay, you see this child being cut down, not just physically, but mentally. I mean, you hear, I've heard some horrendous things from parents telling their kids in public that their kids were worthless pieces of shit, that their kids didn't deserve the life they got. I have seen this firsthand and all the kid probably wanted was a piece of candy or something on a shelf. 
And instead, the mother had to lose her shit and say some really hurtful things to her kid. There have been times where I saw an abusive parents literally ripped their kids up by a, by a broken arm nonetheless and made the broken arm worse. I can't tell you how badly I just wanted to fucking go up to those parents and knock them the fuck out and take their kids from them and, and turn them into CPS and explain to them what I saw. I mean, there are so many times that I've wanted to do this, but unfortunately the laws protect these kind of people. And for some reason, these people will forever have more rights than those that are already in jail that aren't child abusers. We can send somebody to jail for a petty crime such as selling weed on a street for like 30 years to his fucking life, but a child pedophile or abuser only gets time for about five to six years. And he'll be sentenced for 20, but he'll be out in five or six for good behavior. What kind of fucking system is that? I'm a little bit past emotional, as you can tell. I'm, a, I'm getting a little worked up. I'm getting a little heated. I'm a little angry. And when I see kids like Caitlin Nicole Davis, a.k.a. It's Dotsy, or Dotsy, or whatever her name is, it pisses me off. It enrages me. It angers me to no end. To see that there are channels here that are advocating for this kind of abuse to children. To see that lower decayed world societies are saying that all this is going on with children. Oh, it's not that bad. It's, it's worse over here. No, it's worse over there because you've chosen not to fucking act and stand up for what's right in this world. I don't know or have I ever met Caitlin, but you know what? When I saw her, I shit you not, you guys, she was literally going through everything that I went through in my life. As a kid, her age. That's why I ran away at a young age. Not many people know that about me, but I actually ran away. Not because I I was bored with my life, and not because I I felt the need to uh, try things new. No, I was to a point in my life where it was either I was going to take somebody's life, or I was going to take my own to make sure that I don't take someone's life. I mean, these things are going on and it seems to me that we could raise all the awareness in this fucking world day in and day out. And guess what? Nothing fucking changes. So when they say that, oh, it's against the law for this or, oh, I'm sorry, but that's the law. It's the same very fucking law that lets these parents get away with fucking murder and molestation and abuse. This is why I, I really champion the idea of vigilanteism when people finally had enough and stand up for what's right. Because kids like this always fall through the cracks and there's always going to be a Caitlyn Davis out there. There's always going to be a YouTuber, young YouTuber like herself that's going to be on camera all the time and then she's going to say, fuck it, I'm done. There's always going to be these kind of kids out there. And you know what? These motherfuckers, these pieces of shit parents that get away with this are going to walk scot-free.